In this lesson we're going to look at prisms and then work out the volume of prisms. But in order to do that, we first need to understand what a prism is. So a prism is a 3D shape. It's got two parallel sides either side of it. They must be exactly the same size. And those shapes either side of it tell you the name of the prism. So this one here, if we look at this one first, this is called a triangular prism. And if you look at the end bit, there's a triangle. And at the other side of this shape, you can't see it here, but that would be another triangle. And if you cut it through the middle, there'd be triangles of the same si uh, size all the way through the shape. So it's almost like you've taken this red shape and stretched it along the way. And that's really what a prism is. It's really a 2D shape that's been stretched out along. If you imagine it's been pulled along the way to create a 3D shape, then you get a prism. So as long as the two sides um, of the shape are parallel, these two red bits, and they're exactly the same size, that would create a prism. Again, this bit tells us the name of the prism, this red bit at the end. So this is called a triangular prism. But you can stretch out any 2D shape to create a prism, a rectangle or a circle. This one, I've got a pentagonal prism. So I've taken a pentagon here and I've stretched it out. Okay, so you've got a pentagon here. There'll be a parallel pentagon on the other side that's exactly the same size. And that's what this fancy word here means, congruent. Congruent faces are just faces that are exactly the same size. And here I've got a hexagon at the top. And if I stretch the hexagon down the way, I would create a hexagonal prism. Now, to work out the volume of a prism, I think we'll firstly look at a cuboid again, because a cuboid, as I mentioned earlier, is a type of prism. <clears throat> it's just a rectangle or a square that's been stretched out. In this case, this red um, shape has been stretched up the way. Now, if we can think about the volume of a cuboid, because we know a formula ready for that, then we can get a volume formula for any prism. So these bits are usually called length and breadth. And this bit is called height on a cuboid or a rectangular prism or a square prism. So we usually do length times breadth times height. But if we take the length times the breadth, then what you do is you get the area of the face part of the prism, the face part that you recognise the prism from. So instead of writing length times breadth, I'm just going to say if you get the area of the face part, and in this case, times it by the height, you'll get the volume of this type of prism. But that will work for any prism, as long as you get the area of the face part that you stretch out, and then you multiply it by either the height in this case, but if it was along the way, we would use the length of the prism. So you would take the area of the face and multiply it by the length of the prism. So let's go back to this screen and look at an example. So my example here is a pentagonal prism and I'm told the area of the face part which is great because my formula is volume equals area of the face part and I want to multiply it by either the height or the length in this case the length so I'm just going to write area times length so let's just do that calculation volume equals area times length 40 times 7 4 sevens are 28 so it'll be 280 centimetres cubed. So as long as you know the area of the face part and you know the length or the height of the prism, then you can work out the volume of it. So let's look at some more examples here I've got on this page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you these six questions to do. I will do the first one and then I'll go over all the answers to it. So I will do the first one and then I'll show you all these questions. You can pause the video, try them out, and then I can, you can scroll down at the end of the video to see the answers. It's a question one. The area of the top of this square base pyramid is 24 centimetres squared. Height 6. Calculate its volume. So I'm just going to use the formula V equals AL each time. I know you could use area times height if you wanted, but I'm just going to use area times length. So in this case, the area is 24. The length or the height is 6. So Easy enough, 24 times 6, just use your calculator for that, and you've got 144 centimetres cubed. That would be the volume of this prism. Right, I'm going to scroll up, I'm going to let you look at question 2 and 3, maybe pause it, have a go. 
okay there's question four five and now six so I would pause this part of the video rewind if you need to try questions two three four five and six okay you should now try those if you paused it I'm now going to go over the answers to the questions right so question two and question three are very similar to what we just talked about volume equals area times length this area here is 25 this is a triangular prism they're telling us the area is 25 the length is 9 so it's just 25 times 9 and that works out as 225 centimeters cubed this one we've got a hexagonal prism the area is 80 the length or the height is 15 so it's just 80 times 15 and your answer is 1200 centimeters cubed or 1200 centimeters cubed the question four they made it a wee bit trickier they gave you the volume and the area and you were asked to work out what the height was or the length you can call it height or length now we've looked at that before at reverse questions so i'm just going to apply the same logic i'm going to put the volume in which is 144 i know the area is 18 but i don't know the length or the height we'll call it the length in this case so what do I do with these two things to work it out? Well, I divide 144 by the 18 and you'll get 8 centimetres. And you can try 8 times 18 makes 144. Question 5 is just the same. It tells you the volume is 1040. It tells you the area. So basically 40 times what makes 1040? It's work. You've got to work out the length. So exactly the same as question 4. We'll put the numbers in. So 40 times something makes 1,040. Do the divide. And your answer is 26 centimetres. Okay, last question. Last question, volume equals area times length. This time we've been given the volume, which is 432. We've got the height, which is 12. And we're asked to calculate the length of each side of its base. So this is a wee tricky one. The first thing I would do here is I'd try and work out the area of this part here. Okay, so to work that out, just put your numbers in. 432 equals area times 12. Divide those two numbers and you're going to get 36 centimetres squared for the area of the top. But that's not what we're asked. We're asked for the side length. So basically that times that makes 36. And I think it said it's a square volume of the square based prism so what times what makes 36 if it's a square it must be the same number so it's six centimeters